Aspirin, a pain reliever pill we're all too familiar with. It's found in the medicine box of almost every household. We reach for it whenever we aren't feeling too great. Headaches, fevers, body aches, you name it. This little drug has been doing wonders since as early as the 1900s when Felix Hoffman discovered it in his lab. And if you're wondering how it's made, today's video will take you through the process of its making on a large scale. You might recognize the word salicylic acid from beauty products these days, but this ingredient has a much longer history. It's actually a natural substance found in plants like willow bark and meadow sweet. Civilizations all over the world, from the Chinese to the Romans and even Native Americans, discovered its helpful properties centuries ago. Today, we use a synthetic version of salicylic acid to make aspirin, but its roots are firmly planted in the natural world. Making aspirin requires a helper for salicylic acid, a special combo of carbon and oxygen atoms called acetyl. And remember those science experiments in school where a mysterious ingredient made everything happen faster? That's a catalyst. In aspirin production, the catalyst is usually sulfuric or phosphoric acid. It helps speed up the chemical reaction, turning our separate ingredients into the powerful pain reliever we know. Now that we've assembled our ingredients, let's head to the factory and see how this transformation takes place. This begins the chemical process. Acetyl groups can attach to other molecules, changing their properties and functions. In this case, they attach to salicylic acid. This transforms it into acetyl salicylic acid, the active ingredient in aspirin. It may seem small, but the acetyl group packs a punch. It shapes molecules and their roles in many chemical processes. The catalyst also joins the mix. It creates the perfect environment for the reaction to take place, acting like a conductor, directing the action. Like two old friends, the acetyl group and salicylic acid bond. They form a new compound, acetyl salicylic acid, or aspirin. But it doesn't end here. All right, so we've mixed our amazing ingredients and watched the chemical reaction create something awesome. But the aspirin isn't quite ready for use yet. It's still a bit rough around the edges, with some unwanted impurities clinging on. We need to separate the good stuff from the not-so-good stuff, a process called crystallization. We use a special solvent, like water or ethanol, to dissolve everything. Then we crank up the heat a little, helping all that gunk separate from the good stuff. As the solution cools down, magic happens. Pure aspirin crystals start to form, leaving the impurities behind in the solution. This purification process is crucial. It ensures that the final aspirin we get is pure, safe, and effective for relieving those aches and pains. Okay, so our aspirin has crystallized beautifully, but it's still mixed in with the leftover ethanol solution. We need to separate these two. This is where some filtration equipment comes in. We have two main options, rotary vacuum filters or pressure filters. These machines are built to handle big volumes of liquid and solid materials, perfect for our aspirin adventure. The design can vary a bit. Some filters have a giant spinning drum, while others use a series of filter plates. No matter the design, the goal is the same. Separate the aspirin crystals from the leftover liquid. First, our aspirin soup of crystals and ethanol gets transferred to a big tank with a built-in stirrer. This keeps all the crystals nice and evenly suspended in the liquid. Then the whole mixture gets pumped into the filter. Inside, the liquid gets separated from the solids. Just like that, pure aspirin crystals are left behind on the filter while the leftover ethanol is collected separately. We're getting closer and closer to that final perfect aspirin. We filtered out the big chunks of leftover ethanol, but there might still be some tiny impurities clinging to the aspirin crystals. Here we give our aspirin a final rinse with a solvent or water just to be absolutely sure everything unwanted is gone. This extra cleaning step makes the aspirin crystals even purer. There are two main ways to do this final wash. We can use a spray washer, which basically gives the aspirin crystals a shower, or we can use an immersion tank, like dunking the crystals for a full body soap. No matter the method, the key is to make sure the cleaning solution reaches every nook and cranny of the crystals. They might even get a double wash just for good measure. By the end of this step, we're left with sparkling clean aspirin crystals. Ready for the next step, drying. Now the contaminated solvent or water is drained carefully. The aspirin can be left to air dry or be rotated inside a rotary dryer. Whichever way is used, the target is to remove excess moisture to get perfectly dried crystals. 
Now that our aspirin is all washed and dried up, it's ready to be refined further. It's time to toss it into a milling machine to make sure all the particles are the same in size. In some cases, especially for tablets, the dried aspirin may be milled to get an even size. We have now reached the point where we give the pills their shape or make capsules with this powder. The dried aspirin powder or granules are pressed using tablet presses, turning powder to pill. Using the tablet press is like using a giant stamp. They're pressing the aspirin powder into those familiar tablet shapes. And for the capsules, the powder is filled into casings made of gelatin. Here the most important thing is to get the exact dose into each tablet or capsule. That is where quality control comes in. Every tablet or capsule has to be top quality. So throughout the production process, scientists take little aspirin samples at different stages. They test these samples to measure the exact concentration of aspirin in each one. If a batch passes this test with flying colors, it gets the green light for becoming tablets or capsules. But they also do random checks on each batch, just to be extra sure every single one has the correct dose. The scientists compare the results to super strict standards, and if anything falls outside those lines, they investigate further. They also keep detailed records of everything. In the end, all this hard work ensures that every single aspirin dose is potent, pure, and exact. This means you can be confident that the aspirin you take is safe and effective for pain relief. The tablets or capsules are then carefully packaged into blister packs, bottles, and other containers to keep them safe. But this step is more than just putting pills in a box. Each package gets a label with details like the drug name, dosage, and expiration date. Unique batch numbers are also printed to track the product. Inserts with instructions on how to take the medicine and warnings about side effects are added too. People now have all the information they need to use the medicine safely. These are then packaged into boxes and are ready for shipping. Well, that's all from us. It's amazing to see how a compound first used in ancient remedies has evolved into one of the most widely used medications in the world. For more informative videos, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching.